everybody, I'm Jessie the Lookout and today we are opening my Thinking Geek package. So we're in my living room today because um, it's still winter here in southern Ontario and after about 3 o'clock my film room becomes too dark to use because right now I'm between lighting sources as it were. So you get to see my living room, uh, let me know if you see a ghost because that, I feel, is something that I would like to know is in my apartment. And this dark setup, I feel, is like optimal for like ghost walk by. So I guess about a week ago, uh, my purse broke. So I went to the internet to find a new one. And after going on my long shopping journey, I came across this one at ThinkGeek. And so I ordered it and it got here in about, yeah, in about a week, which is about, you know, that's pretty good or pretty standard for uh, ordering packages out of the US and into Canada. I didn't have to pay customs, which is nice. But it's very cute and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, I kind of already attacked the corner a little bit, but I'm sure you'll get over it. Oh, oh, oh god, it's a lot bigger than I thought. <gasps> so pretty. Okay, so um, right before the bag, there's like this little ad thing, like showing all a bunch of think, think geek products. Uh, $10 off your next 50 plus dollar order. Cool, thanks. Okay. My purse. It's like, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it was just gonna be like a cute little thing. But that's, this is fine. This is fine. It's called the Magical Unicorn Bag. And on the front, it's got this cute little unicorn, which was this, pretty much the primary reason that I got it. Ooh, on the inside, it's gold, which is cool, and it's got this a super long, well, I don't know how long. Let's find out how long the strap is. I don't want to have to fight my package. Oh! Ah! Yeah, actually, that's pretty, that's all right. That's all right, we'll get to you in a second. Okay, so yeah, on the inside is gold, and it's got all the wasteful pa packing stuff. Ooh, it's got new purse smell. There's like one little secret first or secret pouch in here for my lady products. There's another little pouch which is a bit shallower than the main pouch for like things like easy access like your cell phone or your wallet or like whatever that can go in there. So in addition to those two pouches, we also have a pouch on the front for like extra super convenient things like ID and drugs, I guess. Don't do drugs. Drugs are a sometimes food. Ah. So as you can see, it's very white with gold trimmings and they're beautiful for a unicorn. It's got like a fake leathery feel on the outside. So that makes me wonder how long it'll last before it starts peeling. Because after shipping, but also taking into consideration how crappy the Canadian dollar is right now, um, the total cost of this bag was like 50 bucks. And like that feels expensive but I needed a new bag and I wanted to like treat myself a little bit. I actually kind of like the detail in the corners just because like they're really pretty. And I feel like a princess with this bag, which was my goal. I wonder if I can fit my iPad in here. Other bag. Oh, I can! It's big enough to fit an iPad. Look at that. You just take that and you plop that right in there. You plop, which is good because I don't have an iPod. I just listen to music off my iPad. How exciting! So, uh, that's the new bag I got. Again, I got that from Saint Geek, and it is the Magical Unicorn Bag. If you have an extra 50 bucks burn a hole in your pocket, you can take a look at this cute little bag. I'm gonna, the way I use purses is I usually use them to go out when I can't use my like big messenger bag. My messenger bag is for like going to work and like carrying crap in but I like to have like a cute little purse with me so that like when I go out to like dancing or just out to dinner or just to like a friend's house or like I'm not bringing a lot of stuff with me so I just want um, a purse. Then that's what I got this one for. I'd say it's a good size. Uh, the decal is really cute. I like the decals, the gold color on the inside. It's like a, a butterscotch color, I guess. And that's like, it's okay. That's nice. I think that goes with like the gold details and stuff. Um, it's got cute pockets. Let's see here. If I had to rate this bag out of 10, considering all the past bags I've had, including my Pikachu bag, a couple rucksacks, and like the handcrafted one that I had before. Um, the only thing that really worries me about this purse is the fake little pleather. If it is fake, it feels like really fake. So I can only assume as much. So I think I'm 
gonna give it a seven out of 10. It's cute, I'm gonna use it. Um, I fear that it won't be durable, which is uh, why like, I, I kinda almost wanna give it like a six or a six and a half, but I haven't used it yet, so depending on how long, that might bring it down a little bit. But I do like it, it is very cute. Uh, expensive though, I think, now that, I've, now that I've got it, and I have grown with wisdom since making this purchase. That's not true, I would've. I would have bought it again too. <laughs> so yeah, seven out of ten. We'll say. Yeah, yeah. It's got gold chains on the side too. For like whipping people with. Ooh, don't whip people with chains. That's not polite. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.